And I hear God saying that I need you to stay in your own lane. God told me this when I first got started in my purpose, when I first, when he first transformed me by the renewing of my mind and I came into the kingdom of God, God spoke this to me then and he's speaking this to me now, still to this day. He says to stay in your own lane. God said, mind your business and stay in your own lane. He says, serve in the area that I have called you to serve. Listen, baby, I hear the Lord saying, don't try to be like nobody else. Don't try to sound like nobody else. Don't try to talk like nobody else. Don't try to walk like nobody else. He said, if you're gonna idolize somebody, it need to be Jesus. <laughs> if you're gonna be idolizing somebody, it need to be Jesus and nobody else but Jesus because he is the only perfect human being that has ever walked this earth. So if you're gonna idolize somebody, it need to be Jesus Christ, baby. But the Lord says, stay in your own lane. And he says, mind your business and do what I have called you to do. Serve in the area that I have called you to serve in. And I hear God saying that what I put in you is enough. He said, you ain't got to wait for somebody to come and bring it, bring it to you. You ain't got to wait for somebody to, to send you the email. You ain't got to wait for somebody to call you. You ain't got to wait for the DM. You ain't got to wait for the right connect. You ain't got, he says, go forth and know that what I have put on the inside of you is enough. You just got to know that you know that you know that you show enough no baby that God is with you and that what God has put in you he has given you the ability to create wealth for your own self to to create wealth for you and your family create wealth in 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 your community God says this is the season where I want my people to open up their eyes and see the treasure the buried treasure that the Lord has placed on the inside of you baby the gifts that he's put inside of you the purpose that he's put in you and i hear god saying that i kept you i protected you and i preserved you i kept you for such a time as this he says from dangers that were seen and unseen he says when the enemy came upon you to eat up your flesh the lord said they stumbled and they fell why because i have spoken some things over you saith the lord this is your father speaking to you today baby he says i need you to run your race slow and steady y'all put that in the comments baby say slow and steady slow and steady wins the race god said if you try to run, if you try to rush this thing he said you're gonna mess it up if you get in a hurry you're gonna mess that thing up god said slow and steady wins the race he told me he said this is the only race that you will ever run where you can take your time and win the person that take their time and let god order their steps somebody put that in the comments baby say god is ordering my steps the bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the lord and he delighted in his way you gotta let god order your steps baby and while god is ordering your steps you can't get in no hurry you gotta be patient you gotta believe in him you gotta trust in him baby with all your heart with everything in you you gotta trust and know that god is working it out for you you got to trust and know that what God put on the inside of you is enough. I hear the Lord say, stay in your own lane. He said, take your eyes off of everybody else. Let me tell y'all something I learned while in pursuit of what God promised me. There is no such thing as competition. There is no such thing as competition, baby. The only competition that exists is in your mind. It's in your head. Because see, in the kingdom of God, when God transforms you by the renewing of your mind, you understand that we are all wealthy in the kingdom of God. You understand that we are all gifted. We each have our unique gifts. We each have our unique purpose. And we are all rulers in the kingdom of God. We are each to rule over our own assignment. We don't rule over each other. We don't compete with one another, but we rule within our assignment. And the Lord says that in this season, he said, this is what I need you to do. I need you to mind your business and I need you to stay in your own lane, baby. I'm telling y'all just like he told me. He said, where we mess up at is we take our eyes off of Jesus and we start putting our eyes on our situation. Who am I talking to, baby? We start putting our eyes on the circumstances. We start watching the other folks. And he said, what happened is we end up just like Peter out there on that water. As long as he was watching Jesus, he was fine. As long as he had his eyes on Jesus, as long as his focus was on his goal, he was fine. But as soon as he lost focus, as soon as he took his eyes off of Jesus, what the scripture say, baby? It says immediately Peter began to sink. 
He began to sink. You know why he began to sink? Because he took his eyes off of the gold. He took his eyes off of the prize. He took his eyes off of Jesus, baby. The scriptures say that I will fix my, I will keep my eyes lifted towards the hills from whence cometh my help because I know that all my help comes from him. You got to keep your focus on Jesus, baby. You got to keep your focus on your goal. The Lord says, get it out of your head that you are in competition with another human being because there is no such thing as competing with somebody else when you know that God gifted them just like he gifted you. That the same thing they do, you can do. The same thing you doing, they can do it too. All you got to do is have faith. All you got to do is believe. The Lord say we, we mess up when we take our eyes off the gold. We take our eyes off Jesus and we start looking at Sister Susie over there. Or we start looking at Brother Billy Bob over there and how he running his business. Or we start looking at Sister Susie. Oh, she done, she done met a man and I ain't met nobody. Oh, she finna get married and I still ain't got nobody. I ain't even dating nobody. Oh, she done started a business. Her business done reached six figures and I can't even get two people to buy my product. See, God said we got to take our eyes off of everybody else. And we got to focus on what he told us to do. We got to focus on our assignment and we got to stay in our own lane. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. As long as I focus on what God told me to do, as long as I stay in my little lane right here and I serve within the capacity that he has commanded me to serve, if I try to step outside of these boundaries and I try to step out and do something else or I try to step out and do something other than what my assignment is, you know what gonna happen, baby? I'm gonna fall flat on my face because that ain't what God want me to do. You gotta do what he wants you to do, baby. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. You can't try to go do something just because you see somebody else being successful with that. You can't try to go serve in a, in a certain type of way just because you see other people serving like that. You got to serve the way he told you to serve. Glory be to God. And I'm going to tell y'all something else. What you doing might not make no sense. It might not make no sense to some of these people how you serve. It might not make no sense to some of these people how you raise your children. It might not make no sense to them how you run your relationship, how you run your marriage, how you run your business. It might not make no sense to them. But I hear the Lord say, you serve anyway. You go on anyway, baby. You stay in your own lane and you and you move the way God told you to move. And I'm going to tell y'all just like he told me, baby, when I first started out running my business and walking in my purpose. God said, don't you listen to none of these fast talking folk coming, telling you this and telling you that. He said, you do what I tell you to do. And he said, you stay in your own lane. And he said, do not deviate from what I have told you to do. God said, if you deviate from what I told you to do, thinking that you're going to get the same results that some of these other folk get, God said, you're going to fall flat on your face. Cause a lot of these people don't serve God, baby. A lot of these folks, they, they saying they praying, but you don't know what type of God they praying to. They saying they meditating, but you don't know what kind of God they meditating to. So God said, you better stay in your own lane and you better do what I told you to do. Glory be to God. And he said, be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you take instruction from. Be careful who you let run your life and dictate your life and who you let speak into your spirit. He said, you better make sure that it's only kingdom, baby only kingdom if it ain't kingdom you don't have nothing to do with it i love y'all i love y'all so much baby and i just hear god speaking this to the divine ones in this season to stay in your own lane just like and he kept showing me david in the spirit he kept showing me david the little old shepherd boy and how david stayed in his own lane david didn't try to go out and compete with his brothers he didn't try to look and say oh well my brothers are taller than me or my brothers are are more skilled than me or my brothers are more favored than me he ain't try to he ain't try to look at his brothers and, and and compete with them and get jealous of them david was minding his business and david stayed in his own lane and because he stayed in his own lane and he served in the capacity that god commanded him to serve in God created a door of opportunity for David to be elevated. Why is that? Because David was faithful. Because David stayed the course. Because David stayed in his own lane and mind his business. See, you got to, you got to stay in your own lane and you got to serve in your little assignment. I say little, but it ain't little. It ain't nothing little at all about what you're doing, baby. God said, stay in your own little lane and do what I have called you to do. He says it's going to be very tempting for you to deviate 
and, and steer off course and go do things the way the world is doing things. Go and do things the way other people are doing things. But he says, I have not told you to dance to their tune. The Lord says, I have created a different tune for you. He says, you are in this world, but you are not of this world. I hear him saying, stay in your own lane and mind your business. Do what God has called you to do, even when you look foolish, even when you look crazy, even when you look like you done lost your mind. The Lord says, stay consistent. He says, stay faithful, baby, because what I'm doing with you, he said, I'm building legacy with you. I'm building generational, uh, generational wealth with you. He says, I'm breaking curses with you. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, I am the generational curse breaker. I am the chosen one. Come on now. The chosen one know how to stay in their own lane, mind their own business. I, and, and, and stay in your own lane, mind your business, forget them folks. That don't mean that you hating on somebody. That, that ain't meant in no negative, evil way. That mean that you so occupied with what God got you doing, you ain't got time to look at how somebody else living their life. You ain't got time to look at how somebody else running their business. You ain't got time to look at... Uh, who got married or who did this or who did that. You ain't got time. You ought to be so focused on what, what God told you to do. You ought to have your goals and be so focused and have your head down and getting to work that by the time you look up, baby, all kind of stuff be done took place. All kind of stuff be done happen. You be like, dog, where I been? Come on now, you been in your purpose. You been in the kingdom of God. You been about your father's business. Stay in your own lane and watch and see how God elevates you. He said, I'm going to do you just like I did with David. David didn't even know that he was going out there to fight no giant. David didn't even know. I'm pretty sure when he woke up that morning, he didn't even know that later on that day that a giant was going to fall at his feet and that everybody would know his name and that his name would spread over the land. David did not know. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a clue. And God said, baby, it's going to come a day. He said, if you stay in your own lane, if you tend to what I told told you to tend to if you stay in your lane and serve in the capacity that God has commanded you to serve you ain't worried about how how much of a bigger scale somebody else doing their business on but you just doing what God told you to do he says there's gonna come a day when you wake up that morning and you put your socks on he said you're gonna think later on that day when you put when you was putting your socks on that you would have never thought that that day you would have never thought that that was gonna be the day that god was gonna elevate you you would have never thought in a million years that that was gonna be the day that everybody was gonna know your name you would have never thought in a million years that that was the day that you was gonna go viral that that was the day that god was gonna blow you up from zero to a hundred real quick the Lord say, that's what I do for the chosen one, baby. When they stay in their own lane, when they mind their business, when they stay faithful and they do what God has called them to do. Don't worry about these folks that's getting ahead of you. Don't worry about these folks that's growing quicker than you, that's making more moves than you. Just because you're making a lot of moves, just because you know a lot of people don't mean nothing. Come on now. You got to sit with God, baby, and hide and let God perfect your spirit. Let God get your heart right. Let God put his principles on the inside of you. Let him transform you by the renewing of your mind. Glory be to God. Stay in your own lane, baby, and mind your business. Do what he is telling you to do because God is going to create a door of opportunity for you. Well, listen to me. No man will be able to stop it. There, there will not be a human being walking this earth that will be able to stop what God has for you. They will not be able to stop this opportunity that the Lord has created from you because it's God ordained, baby. And when God has ordained something, no devil in hell can stop it. I love y'all so much, baby. I am Latoya O'Kill. Y'all, excuse me, I had to watch the road, baby. It's a lot going on in my city, so got to be safe. Got to watch the road, but I still wanted to get this message out to y'all. Uh, Latoya Oak Hill Academy, we have launched our our next master class. It's going to be on September the 10th. See, look at here. It's all kind of stuff going on down here, right here. What y'all got going on, baby? Come on. So you got to watch the road, baby, because the devil would love to get you, get you tripped up and, and, and have you laying upside down side the road somewhere baby that's why you got to be careful you got to put on your seat belt you got to watch where you're going you got to be attentive baby but i still wanted to bring this word to y'all baby if y'all can join us for our next master class the link is going to be in the description it's called god said it's in your voice baby i hear the lord say that your breakthrough your deliverance your healing come on now your abundance 
it's been laying in your mouth all this time. He said, all you got to do is speak it, baby. He said, it's in your voice. So get in this masterclass. It's going to be a live two hour virtual masterclass that I'm going to be teaching uh, via Zoom. The masterclass is $25. If you get it right now, if you get it before the class is going to be $25. That's the pre-order price. It will never be that price again. So now is the time to get the, um, to get the class, to go ahead and get your seat in the in the zoom master class because there's a limited amount of people that i'm gonna be a, that i'm gonna put into the zoom so you want to go ahead and get your ticket now go ahead and secure your seat for the master class it's only 25 dollars sow that seed baby and, and join us on september the 10th 2022 at 1 p.m central standard time now listen baby if you are in the Latoya O'Kill Academy membership, please do not purchase this masterclass, okay? You do not have to purchase this masterclass if you are in my monthly membership for $47 a month. The masterclasses are included with your membership. You do not have to purchase this masterclass, okay? So y'all check y'all emails. Make sure you're reading the whole email, okay? Read the whole email, baby. I love my folks. I love y'all dearly but we don't be reading, <laughs> we don't be reading, okay? So make sure when y'all open the email from me, you read the whole email. Make sure when you buy a course, you read all the details in the course curriculum, read everything, baby, okay? Reading is fundamental. <laughs> make sure you read everything. So I love y'all, I love y'all so much. I pray this message blesses you and I pray that you're able to get what you need from it, baby. God said, stay in your own lane and forget them folks. I love y'all. I am LaToya O'Keele, and I'll check in with y'all later.